if you're watching this video right now, probably you're an IB student and you are uh, doing fee of the firm and you're having some trouble understanding the, the, the meaning of economic profits, okay? Well, when I was an IB student, I found it very challenging as well because, um, well, profits is easy, but just revenue minus cost. So what the heck is economic profits, right? But when I read the textbook, uh, it didn't make sense to me, right? But, um, so today in this video, I'm going to use the best way possible to explain to you what uh, economic profits mean, okay? And actually, I'm the Ryan Dick founder partner of HK, so, and um, our team teaches over thousands, thousands of IB students all around the world through our online platform um, every week, okay? And a lot of times our team, we meet and we talk, talk about what is the best way to explain this particular concept, okay? So, I just really want to show you uh, the, the best way to understand economic profits, okay? So first, let's look at the formula for economic profits. Economic profit is equal to revenue minus explicit cost minus implicit cost. Well, let's look at each of this component. Revenue just means how much money is coming in. Price times quantity, right? Explicit cost is explicit cost is the actual monetary cost. So, for example, like out of pocket costs, like things that go to your balance sheet. For example, wages, rent. Okay, so this is easy to understand. So revenue minus the cost, this is what normal people consider profits. This is also called accounting profits, right? It shows up in the, ba in the balance sheet, the profit and loss statement of the firms. Implicit cost means opportunity cost, okay? So in this case, it means that the opportunity cost of the, bis of the business is how much money can be made in an alternative business. Let's say you're selling apples. Your opportunity cost or your implicit cost would be the profits you could have earned selling, let's say, oranges, okay? So if you sell apples, the opportunity cost of selling apples is the profits you could have earned selling oranges. Okay, so now let's talk about what does it mean by abnormal profit. Abnormal profit, I think you all know, if you just studied the textbook, it will tell you, is when there is positive economic profits, right? It means that the revenue minus implicit cost minus implicit cost is greater than zero, okay? Well, but if you just look at this, it doesn't really mean anything. But this, why, does, why do they call that normal profit, right? What does this actually mean? Well, if you just move the variables around, it makes it a lot easier to understand. Let's, if you know, use some algebra, just move that implicit cost over here. It means that the revenue minus implicit cost is greater than implicit cost. This is very important, okay? So this is the accounting profit, right? Revenue minus implicit cost. So it's how much money, the actual money you make is revenue minus implicit cost. And the implicit cost is the opportunity cost, right? It means that the profit's in the next best alternative. This is the current accounting profits, this is the profit and the next best alternative. Okay, so what does this mean? If you just read this, it means the, account, the current accounting profit in the current business is greater than the profits that could be earned in the next best alternative. Right, so let's say you're selling oranges. It means that if you're earning abnormal profits selling oranges, it means that the accounting profits you get from selling oranges would be greater than the accounting profits you could get from selling apples, okay? If that is your next best alternative. So, and no profits means you're doing so great that this business earns more profit than your next best alternative. Okay, so that's why it's normal for you. Is you earn more profits than your next best alternative. But now let's talk about what normal profit means. Normal profit is just zero economic profit. So it means it doesn't mean you're not making money. It means that it, so revenue minus explicit cost minus implicit cost equals zero. So it means that your revenue minus explicit, explicit cost equals to implicit cost. So you're still making actual money, but the money you make is equal to the money you would make in the next best alternative. Let's say you're selling apples. The accounting profit you can make selling apples is equal to the accounting profits from selling oranges. Okay, so it's normal, right? You, the current profit is same as the next best alternative. Okay, so, um, but if you're making losses, it, maybe you're still making money, but it just means revenue minus the cost minus the cost less than zero. It means that the revenue minus explicit cost is less than implicit cost. Your accounting profit is, ne is less than what you can make in the next best alternative. It means that it will be better if you go to your next best alternative, right? So um, let's say you're selling apples. It means that you're, you can make more money selling oranges, so you should go sell oranges instead, right? So the whole idea behind economic profits is you compare with the next best alternative. Normal profits means the current profits equal to the profit in the next best alternative, right? So Let's say when you grow up, you're, you're trying to uh, be an entrepreneur, right? So you start your own business and, but the, let's say the profits you make in your business is $8,000. Does that mean you're making economic profits? Well, 
it depends on your next best alternative. Let's say you can find a job that pays you $10,000, then you're making economic losses. You should work at a job instead of starting a business, right? So that's the whole idea, compare next best alternative. Thanks a lot for watching this video. If you want to learn more about economics, it's particularly the IB, uh, or even other subjects in IB, you can go on our site to do a free trial lesson. The lesson is completely free, one and a half hour long. You can choose any topic you like. It'll cover all the relevant possible exam questions for that topic, and also all the concepts, okay? If you just want to master a topic, you can go head on and do a free trial lesson, okay? Thanks a lot.